G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 14 of Brentford 2 Big Time. Today it is it's Champions League football time. I know I at the end of last episode promised you a, a, an away day to Southampton. Um, I, I have a feeling you'll forgive me though, uh, given who we're playing. Um, in terms of how we've been going, I mean obviously I'm about to show you everything, but I, I don't really want to. Uh, it's not good. I don't know how we're back here again. I don't, I don't understand what's happened and you might be able to hear my dog in the background, but... It is what it is. Nothing ever works out perfectly, apparently. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Um, before we do, make sure you leave us a like, subscribe, comment, all the things. Um, uh, let, let's see. Where better to start than the transfer screen? Um, you'll notice that I'm on the other side of the screen. Trying it out. Seeing what I like. Is what it is. Um, also, if I didn't, you wouldn't be able to see all of this. All of this. Um, so... Look, not too much else really happened. Um, there's a lot of uh, loans there of players that we don't really care too much about. The players that have come in have come in. It says 2.4 million for Omari Hutchinson because we had to pay uh, the compensation to Chelsea because his contract hadn't technically expired yet when we offered it to him, which is a bit a bit dodgy. But anyway, um, the people who have left, I mean, obviously, these are the ones we knew about. Pontus Janssen has gone to Anderlecht. Shandon Baptiste is gone. Lloyd Kelly you knew about. Um... This fella is a Ukrainian national. He looks decent, but he's already 21. I'm not sure he'll ever actually touch the first team. He might just bring in a bit of money. Um, other than him, um, this fella has good potential. He's 22. He's a decent looking goalkeeper. Um, he might eventually get to the standard of being a backup keeper for us. I'm not sure. Uh, anyone else here? Uh, Matthew Cox also is another goalkeeper. If I could click the damn button. He's 22. English. Looks pretty decent. Um, if he trained, if he's trained at the club, he'll probably stick around as a backup keeper. Maybe uh, sell Karnaseki in the coming years and, and uh, look at bringing in Matthew Cox. Um, you can see down here as well, Omari Hutchinson has gone out on loan. He's gone to Elche. He's playing in the first division. You can see here, four appearances off the bench, and he's done a bunch of nothing. I, I wonder how many... Does it say how many minutes he's actually played? Um, uh, if we look... Where can we look? It doesn't say it here. If you look at form... Uh, if you look here... He's playing as a wing-back, which is not great. Um, but he did play almost the full match this time. Um, I mean, the rest of it is a combination of about uh, uh, 10 minutes at a time. Um, but then he played left wing-back for some reason against Sevilla. Is he... Does he want to play left wing-back? With tackling of seven, I'm not sure he does. And strength and no jumping, I'm not sure he wants to be there. Anyway, so that then wraps up the transfer window. Not much happened since you guys were last here. The only thing that really actually happened was Amari Hutchinson leaving. And uh, look, that's not too exciting, is it? I mean, I very much foreshadowed it. Um, uh, we did make about 15 million pounds, um, which is decent. I do appreciate that. But also, we still had 81 million pounds to spend. I just don't have the squad depth like spaces for it I can't really fit anyone else in at the moment um we're sort of waiting till the end of the season when if we look at our squad if we go to the expiring contracts Norgard, Jensen and Pinnock all uh, have expiring contracts so next season um we'll look to bring in players like I don't know a uh, center back two midfielders we'll see we'll see who we can bring in see what sort of quality they have um and that's about it um other than that looking at the form we, we do have some players who have played fairly well, and look, that's that's sort of in the story. We have played fairly well. Um, you can see up here a bit of a hint as to what's gone on. We're coming 14th. We've played fairly well, though. It's been absolutely infuriating. Seven goals for Tony. The next best is two from Donya Marlon and Damsgaard. Three assists for Kamada, two for Marlon and Nico Williams. I'm, I'm going to lose my mind at this season. The, like, the rage I felt coming, like, the last few games, the rage I felt was absolutely ridiculous. Um, if we go to the schedule, we'll have a look at the fixtures, and it's not gone well. None of it's gone well. Uh, I mean, our first Champions League fixture went very well. Other than that, it's not gone well. So we beat Nottingham Forest on the opening day. You saw that last video. Great last-minute winner for Balogun on his debut. We then lost 2-0 to Brighton. Two goals in the first 11 minutes. Um, if we go to the match, and I'll do this a number of times because look at the stats. 22 shots to 7, we lose 2-0. So we dominated, lose 2-0. Leicester. They win 1-0. Pats and Dacca gets the goal. 
if you look at the stats, uh, look more even. But we just should be in that. We should be getting points from that. We should be getting something from that. We, uh, you know, on the stats, marginally possibly the better side. I mean, not necessarily creating great quality of chance in that game, but marginally you could argue the better side. Sort of. We then beat Blackburn 2 0 thanks to two minutes, two minutes, two goals in the first seven minutes, I should say. Two minutes in, Jan Alt gets a goal. Seven minutes in, Ivan Tony gets himself a goal. We then head to Newcastle where it ends 4 3. The last 10 minutes was insane. As you can see, 80th minute goal for Tony, 81st minute for Trippier, then Godfrey gets one, Marlon gets one. Uh, and then I think we actually had one disallowed. If you look here at the. Oh, you can't see. God dang it. Okay, I'm back over here. Um, as you can see, now, here, um, Ivan Tony had one disallowed in the 92nd minute, so he almost drew it back to 4 all. But again, if you look at the stats, yes, they have had the, the mildly better XG, so they have created the better quality of chance. But we weren't out of that. We were definitely in that game. We definitely could have got something from it. Being down 3 0 at half time, the story is not told there at all. Not at all. Next up, it was, of course, our first Champions League game, and we beat Besiktas 4-0. Norgard Jensen, Tony and Damsgaard with the goals. Absolutely buzzing. To be able to get that sort of a result is absolutely ridiculous. Um, our first goal in the Champions League, obviously going to be a challenging season, um, and that was a great start, really. We then went and beat Chelsea with a 90th minute winner, similar to our game against Nottingham Forest. Um, but Tony got us underway, Havertz equalised, Daniel Marlin got the job done in the 93rd minute. Next up was Leicester in the Carabao Cup and in our third attempt, we have won a fixture in the Carabao Cup. Last season, uh, at the start of the season, we lost to Tottenham to all on penalties. Season before, lost 1-0 to Wolves. Season before, that, uh, we weren't there. That doesn't count, doesn't matter. Don't pay any attention to whatever happened in the Carabao Cup. Do not, don't, doesn't matter. Um, we then come forward to this season. We win 2-1 over Leicester, it was one for Mikkel Damsgaard, Ihianato equalised before Jürgen Ekelenkamp on his actual debut, so it was when he came back from his injury, first appearance for the club, he gets himself a goal. The winning goal, in fact. I love to see it. Then we went and hosted West Ham, and we lose 4 what? Like, what happened? What's happened here? What has happened? So third minute, it was João Pedro, then Sutek got one before Kamada brought one back, and then they get two extra goals, just to really rub it in that... Let's have a look at his stats as well. Another match, if you look at the stats, 4-1 does not tell the story. We were absolutely in that. If you look at the XG, it is all over the place, up and down. It was a very even game. We just, I mean, first half we definitely started slow, but to say that we deserve to lose 4-1, never, never, ever, ever, not not the case. We, we've been in games, in so many games, and it just hasn't happened. Then it was just an absolute demolishing in the Champions League. Freiburg putting five passes. It was 5-1. Hat-trick for Lucas Holler, who I, I don't even know who that is. Some 30-year-old. Okay, he's pretty handsome. Um, he got a hat-trick. Eggestein got a penalty. Danilo got one. Tony got uh, the one back for us. If we look at the stats for this one, um, this is the point. Like I said before, I was going absolutely insane playing these games. We should have won this game. Like, looking at the stats... The way that we actually played, we should have won this game. They just got goals and kept getting goals. Like, they're not... I mean, obviously, this one's a great chance because it was a penalty. The rest of them, not great chances. They just happened to score them. It was just like, whatever, like, will go wrong... What? What's Murphy's Law? Whatever can go wrong will go... What is it? That one. That is... That's what's happening because we are just getting absolutely railed. I don't know what's happened. We then had a 1-0 loss against Fulham, and it's Nasi Univar. Let's have a look at the stats. Is it the same old story? It's the same story. It's the same story. I'm going to lose my mind. Now that I'm reliving it in front of you, I'm going to lose my absolute mind. We had the better quality of chance. We had all of the possession you could ever want. We lost. Then lastly, against Arsenal... This one I'm not too bad about. This one, from memory anyway, I mean, it was a whole 24 hours ago that I played these, um, which is just forever in uh, almost 30 year old's life. Forever. Um, we had, I, I can't remember how this game even went, honestly. It's 6-2, I think they dominated us. Uh, if, yeah, 
they they dominated. So two goals. It was Jesus, Jobasly, Sobs, that fella. We drew level. They took one. Tony got sent off. They got three more. There's been rumours about my job. Uh, they think I may be getting close to the sack. We've had a player meeting where the players have said that they're like losing, losing confidence sort of thing. Let's take on Real Madrid. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? That sounds like exactly what we want to do at this stage. We will today be without Aaron Hickey. He has got an injury, broken jaw. He's out for two weeks, or uh, two more weeks anyway. He has been out for three weeks already, which is fantastic. Uh, Balogun, of course, you can't see down here, but he is out of this one because he's uh, not registered for the competition. We just got to hope that we can perform it to some degree. I hope it's not an Arsenal. We got to hope we get something from it. I mean, I mean, perform. I just don't want it. Okay, I don't want to outperform them and lose. I like. I don't care if they absolutely hammer us and we lose because they've hammered us. That's fine. <laughs> because it's Real Madrid. Yeah, we're Brentford. We're not great yet. If it's the other way around, if we. Uh, even with them and get hammered, I'm going to lose my uh, like absolute mind. Like I think I'm going to, I need to start looking at the job center. I think like I don't know, man. I, yeah, I'm going mental. So the lineup we're going to go with it is Alban Lafont in goals, a back pairing of Ndika and Ayer. I'm not sure why it says they have a bad connection. They were great last season and they had a good connection last season playing the exact same role. So I don't, don't entirely know what's happened ahead of them. It is uh, Rico Henry on the left, Nico Williams on the right. Ben Godfrey as the halfback ahead of them, then Yanels and Kamada are playing as the two central midfielders with Mbuemo and Damsgaard on the right and left with Tony up front. Tony only playing this one because he got suspended in the Premier League and I need someone else to be fit at the weekend uh, so that we have a chance. Like I don't want to start, like I'm pissed that Tony, he just flew in at someone we were already like, anyway, I would be starting someone else if I didn't have the Premier League two days later, you know? Why is life like this? Um, anyway, um, not too much else to really talk about. Um, uh, the the selection sort of talks for itself. Michael Lise, believe it or not, got injured yet again. Um, I can't remember what his injury was this time. Oops, I've clicked the wrong thing. Uh, history, injuries. Uh, pulled a calf muscle. He was out for three weeks. So he's uh, still working his way back to fitness, as you see here, gaining sharpness. So he's not quite fully match fit. Um, but he's played a couple of times, so he's he's on his way back. That being said, that's why Umbermo's here. Other than that, it's a pretty strong lineup, really. Um, and I think having Jan Elf there sort of makes a bit more sense. We might actually put him on a as a ball-winning midfielder just to have that extra defensive presence, I guess. I don't know. That's the theory, anyway. Let's get it out of the road, basically. I think we might have, like, the smallest... What? Why are you complaining now? You've been... He's been fine the entire time... He's. I think we have the smallest stadium in the Premier League because we have the lowest average uh, attendance despite filling our stadium. Um, so, you know, that's cool. Looking at their lineup, um, not too much change. I mean, they've got Declan Rice, uh, Ruben Neves, and Nico Zaniolo. Pretty weird. They've also then got Wilfred Singo and uh, Samuele Ricci. I don't know who Matt O'Reilly is either. It's probably just me being not great. Um, all right, me have been on our back, whatever. I don't know. We just need to say something, just something. I mean, we need to not stress them out and make them think they need to do anything against Real Madrid because it's Real Madrid, man. Um, look, that's the lineup. You saw it already. Uh, man, I'm so mad. I don't know if you guys can sense it, but I'm just not vibing because this... I haven't changed anything, really. I mean, I changed... Someone to be. I changed one of our midfield roles to an advanced playmaker so that we had more of an attacking. Pro, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? More of an attacking presence, that's the word. Um, uh, yet we are scoring much less. We are underperforming our XG. Uh, it, it's quite shocking. I don't know what is happening or why this is taking so long. There we go. We're through to kick off. Let's just. I hope we don't concede seven. That would be lovely. If we could do better than we did against Arsenal, losing 6-2 with a man down, that would be ideal. That would be a good result. We've had the first shot. That's a good result. I'll take that. We have the possession after seven minutes. That's a good result. I'll take that. I don't know why I'm showing this game, because surely I could have come back for the Southampton game, and it would have been less stressful 
and more like, I don't know, a realistic challenge, I guess. Um, you know, it is what it is. We've also got Barcelona in our group, group in our fixtures. It's not even our group because it's the league phase, but like, you know what I mean? We've got to play Barcelona. We've, also, we've got to play Ajax as well. I don't remember. Can't remember who else, but you know, that'll be fun. Um, here is the first highlight of the game after 18 minutes. Vinny Jr. on the ball, finding Valverde through on goal into the box. Back to Vinny Jr. There it is. There's the first goal. Uh, and I'm saying the first because I like I have I have a feeling. I just have a feeling that was incredibly simple. Um, I'm not sure who was meant to track him because everybody just sprints back. The... The players that could have tracked the run of Valverde went to just chase him and completely forgot that Vinny Jr. might be there. Not infuriating at all. Um, I don't know why this is flickering. Is that happening in the recording? Why is that happening? Don't understand. Anyway, 1-0 Real Madrid. It would just love something. Just would love to... Uh, let's get a goal. Let's get a goal. We can lose 3-1, 4-1. Sure, hands up. They're better than us. I admit, I, I surrender. Look, they can have those three points. That's fine. But can we just do something? Can we just have a moment to savor? Can we just have, like, looking at the lineup, can we just have Damsgaard score an absolute belter and then we lose 3 or 4-1, don't care, wipe our hands, move from it, celebrate that one time in Brentford history when Damsgaard scored an absolute belter against Real Madrid? Deal? Here's a highlight. We give it away to Vinny Jr. Goodness. Here he goes down the right-hand side, cutting back now for Militao. Militao given all the room in the world to bring it forward. Neves then plays through Rodrigo. It's so simple. It's... I mean, there's a chance he's offside, but I don't think he is. It's just so simple. He didn't... Like, they could just walk through us. Yeah, it's a goal. Of course it's a goal. Just look at all this room. Look at all the room he has to walk through. Find someone who has even more room. And then he passes it in behind easy. Oh my days. I'm losing my mind, man. I don't understand. Let's just hit them with encourage. What more can we do? We've had the possession. They're just gonna they're just gonna rip through us when they do get the ball, apparently. Can you tell I'm sick of it? Do you, uh, do you think it's obvious that I'm just sick of us not performing? I might need to just quit. I'm definitely going to need to... Rico Henry, you absolute spoon. What are you doing? What are either of you doing? What is Rico Henry doing? What's Album Lafont doing? Album Lafont stood there and told him where to shoot. He was just like, you know what, Vinny? You're going to score anyway. Here. Here, have this part of... What are we doing? Oh my god. Why is it... Skip. Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. I need to look at the job market because I'm getting absolutely miffed with this. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Look, let's give the fans a performance to cheer for, you know? Let's make this a moment that the fans can remember. Yeah, that. Sure. Fire up. Why not? We're keeping the ball well. I'll say that. We're keeping the ball well. That might be playing exactly into their hands, but... We're keeping the ball well. How is Aya having a worse performance than Rico Henry? What, what's Aya doing? What are you doing? Sorry, um, Kevin Sharder scores. That's good. I'm glad that he didn't score against us, but he did beat us five-one. A uh, player that we could have signed a couple of years ago. Here's a highlight. Almost 60 minutes in. I don't even like. What changes do I make? I don't think anybody wants to come off the bench into this. Rico Henry lays it back to LaFont for some reason. Forward for Aya. I'm so angry. Forward for Kamada. Kamada now. Plays through Tony. Tony's through on goal. Why? 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 I get every bloody press conference. I get an item saying how Ivan Tony is such a consistent player and it must be good to have someone so consistent. If that's what he's consistent at, it's not good. If he's consistently rubbish, it's rubbish. Like, I don't... I'm mad. I'm very mad. I don't want to... I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Let's make changes. Ivan Tony, you can get out. I was about to swear. Michael Elise can come on. Uh, Aya can come off for... Norgard, and we'll move... 
Ben Godfrey back. I don't want to... I don't... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Let's bring on Eklund Camp. He can come on. Kamada can move to the advanced playmaker role. Uh, just on support, though, because let's not be ridiculous now. Um, and then I think the last change will probably be uh, Rico Henry, because he's a prick. Um, but we've made four changes in 60 minutes, so probably need to dial it back a bit and let them score some more before we make other changes. So that would... You know, that would really make sense, wouldn't it? 3-0, 67 minutes. A pass map looks decent. Um, I could say that much. It's starting to look sort of like how I envision it looking. Um, that's about it. Uh, except, like, what do you do about the striker? Because he's just going to sit up there. He's just not. He's just going to sit there. He's not going to do anything. It's Ivan Tony. He doesn't want to. He just wants to sit there and take penalties. All right, we are 78 minutes in. We haven't conceded this half. So my nose goes. Everybody, I'm mad. I'm mad, I'm mad, I'm mad. Alban Lafont's having a sh an absolute stinker. Heaps of our players are tired. Who do we need for the weekend? Let's think about that. Last change, who do we need for the weekend? Mikkel Damsgaard, I guess. I don't know. That'll do. Yep, you go out there and do something, maybe. And we'll maybe, maybe, maybe hold Real Madrid to three goals and a scoreless half. I sorry, I just banged the microphone. Um wouldn't that be fantastic? I should why don't I have it facing the other way? I'm so mad that I'm just picking out everything that I'm mad about in the world. Um uh plastic bags. I don't know. What? Why did I say plastic bag? Um 90th minute Look we had the same amount of shots as Real Madrid and they scored well above their xg if you look at those stats and you if you ignore the score ignore this look you can't see how many goals they've got i know you can i know you definitely can see how many goals. if you ignore the score if you i can't cover the screen um if you don't look at the score you look at that and you think that might be a draw no three nil same uh, yeah. It's the same story, isn't it? It's the same story where we kind of perform. We kind of are even with them, sort of. In terms of shots, even. XG, beat them. Fouls, they, um, corners, they only had one more. Pretty even. 61% possession. 3-0. Not even close. Not even... Uh, uh, they completely foot off the gas in the second half. All right, not much to glean from that one um, because you didn't really see what we can do at all. Um, next video, let's have a look at the schedule. Um, I don't really want to talk about much of it um, because we've just lost five in a row and we probably deserve to lose one of them. So that's good. Um, looking into January, let's come back for Barcelona. If I'm still at Brentford in January, we're coming back for Barcelona. We'll see though, um, because after losing five on the trot, I don't know if I'll still have a job here. Um, so if we go to staff and look at the job security, let's just, in a matter of interest, see what's around. It says that we're currently stable, so that's good. Uh, insecure, Fulham, Watford, don't care. Uh, don't care about any of them. Oh God, all right. Well, we need to hope for like, Sorry to screw it or Italiano to screw it and then for some reason they want us Pep Guardiola's at Milan so that's cool um, Lazio actually speaking of Lazio and Sergio this fella um, they actually approached me in the summer I said no to an interview because uh, I at that point was feeling positive about Brentford um, might be regretting that now they're coming fifth in Serie A under Sergio uh, maybe 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 I should have taken that interview. Um, let me know what you reckon. Um, should I resign? When should I? When should I resign and look elsewhere? And where should I look? What what sort of job should I look for? Because I'm not sure this is the end game. If you if you know what I mean. There's a whole big wide world out there. The grass may be greener somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, that will wrap up today's video, guys. 
make sure you do leave us that like down below i'm sorry that i'm so negative and absolutely po'd um but you probably would be too if you're watching this video and you play football manager you'd probably be pretty po'd too um so console me please anyway that'll wrap up today's video make sure you do leave us a like subscribe comment all the things and until next time when i may be unemployed i don't know peace